Hey, <clears throat> Kevin again. I'm at home. Uh, I usually do a little uh, guitar thing Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Maybe Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Tuesdays or Wednesdays. But that's uh, that's the music days over on this channel. So yeah, this is one of my favorite guitars, the Telecaster Squire. Good. I don't know if you call this Seafoam Green. There's actually another name for this. Surf Green. I think it's Surf Green. But it's a great guitar. Very responsive to touch. Talk about let's talk about hat sizes. How about hat sizes? Okay, now in the hat industry, I guess there are three different Scott size scales. Scales that's the minor scale. Well, it's a type of minor scale. Minors are more sad or serious sounding, sort of. Scales, size scales. The first size scale is uh, American hat sizes. This is what you hear most of the time. Uh, I'm a six and seven eighths, or I'm a seven. Uh, a lot of guys uh, say, uh, "Well, I was a six and seven eighths in the army or something." I, I remember hearing that. Six and seven eighths is like what we all were at some point when we were a kid or something. It's a size small. Um, it's the smallest size that pretty much everything comes in. A an S, small, or six and seven eighths, almost a size seven. Now, pretty much every hat size is a size seven and something. So if you come into a hat shop and you say, oh, oh, I've got to get a hat for my brother. I know this hat size is size seven and something. It's a, it really doesn't help, but pretty much 99% of the hat sizes are seven and something, except for that one thing, six and seven eighths. Um, all right, here's how it goes. Six and seven eighths is a small. Where it starts. After that is seven. A seven is the beginning of medium. So now you're in medium. A seven, below average. It's still a very small size. After a seven comes seven and one eighth. So six and seven eighths will be below my guitar. That's size small. My guitar is size medium. So, okay, seven to seven one eighth. Those are the two sizes that consist of medium. You're small, you're here. You're medium, you're here, seven, seven and one eighth. Next size is seven and one quarter, will be up here. That's considered large. It's really on the large medium line, but you're in the large zone now. So a large will be seven and a quarter to seven and three eighths, because that's large. Small, six and seven eighths. Medium will be a seven to seven and one eighth. It's a medium, it's a smallish size, a skinny guy, you know? A girl that's a little smallish, somebody with a smallish head, not a lot of hair or something, a little below average, kind of average, okay? Small, seven to seven one eighth is medium. Seven and one quarter to seven and three eighth is the most average range. Uh, I don't know, 70% of the population is right in here, maybe 75. I'd say that's my, my size. Uh, I'm, I'm right over here, seven and a quarter. Okay, after seven and a quarter and seven and three eighths large, let's go to my head over here, will be extra large. So seven and one half and seven and five eighths will be XL. So 
and it's going a little bit above the I don't know, standard average middles, you know. Okay, so seven one half is XL, seven and five eighths is like a classic XL, right in the middle. After that, above my head here, seven and three quarters is a double X. And above that, seven seven eighths, double X top. So every small, medium, large X, there's two number sizes. Okay, so let's go back down. Small, six and seven eighths. Seven to seven one eighth medium. Seven and a quarter to seven and three eighths large. Seven and a half to seven and five eighths is extra large. Up here, <laughs> double X is gonna be seven and three quarters to seven and seven eighths. Double X. After that, triple X. Triple X is a size eight. A lot of people claim they're an eight. Not everybody is. Uh, a lot of hats just run small. What happens is when they get up to XL, they just stop getting bigger. So if you try XXL, they're not all the same. Some of them are going to be huge. Most of them won't. A lot of them won't fit you at all if you're double X. They're just not real double X's. So American hat sizes, what are they? Are they inches? No. Are they centimeters? No. What are they? They are nothing. It's just like, yeah, the Americans, we just do our thing, we're inefficient, you know, we don't like to do the metric system and everything, we don't like to be base 10. It means nothing, it's based on nothing, it's just a hat size thing, and it's been here forever. Now, what does it mean when you look inside your hat, and you don't see 6 and 7 eighths, 7, 7, 1 eighth, you see something else, it says 59 or 58, uh... I've got it in here. You know, a lot of them have a sticker with, with all three ranges. Uh, European, which is centimeters, 59, 60. American hat sizes, 7, 1, 8. And UK sizes, which are very, very close to American hat sizes. They're just like a number off. Um, nobody uses UK sizes. Even like British people do. You know, they don't do it. Um, UK sizes are like just, I don't know, they're antiquated, defunct, so forget about those, okay, and think about centimeters or American hat sizes. I think centimeters are better. Uh, personally, it's just, it's easier, it's more precise, and uh, if you're going to use centimeters, uh, I think a lot of people would just be happy with that. All right, so you remember that bottom one? Uh, size small, size six and seven eighths. Let's start back there again. Size small at the beginning is going to be a 55. 55 is as small as most hat companies go. 55, small. 56, 57. What is that? Medium. Right. 58 to 59, large. 60 to 61, XL. 62 to 63, double X. 64 is a size 8, triple X. Okay. So you let's, let's do them all now, okay? Size small equals 55 centimeters, also equals six and seven eighths American hat sizes. Then you've got size medium over here, which is 56 and 57 centimeters, also known in American hat sizes as seven and seven one eighth. After that is gonna be large. Large will be 58 and 59 centimeters. So the average American is like 58 or something, 59. Okay, that is also equal to seven and a quarter and seven and three eighths in those U.S. hat sizes. Going back up to XL now, extra large is seven and one half to seven and five eighths. That's also equal to, anybody know? 60 and 61 centimeters, right. Uh, 62 is gonna be a double X. A 62 and a 63 is a double X, seven and three quarters and seven, seven eighths in American sizes. The last one is a triple X, also known as an eight, American hat sizes, or a 64 centimeters. The biggest anything ever, ever comes is 64, and don't expect to find them like anywhere. You'll find them, you know, at JJ Hat Center, okay, we're like the biggest hat shop, like in the biggest country, in the biggest city, you know, and we're open for 100 years, you know. There's not a lot of places like that around. It's, one in New York, and you know, there's a, a handful of them across the whole country. So most shops, like department stores or whatever, tourist shops or 
places with hats, you might not find 64 centimeters. It's very rare. Um, ladies have a very hard time if they're a size small, like a 55 or 54 or 53, even a 56. If they're very small, like down here, or if they're up here, they can't buy ladies' hats because all these great ladies' hats, they make them one size fits all, which is, it's ridiculous. Which is another reason why the ladies come to us. They go to men's hat shops because, you know, the ladies' hat industry is not as, they say it's not as serious. And um, a lot of light ladies' hat makers concern themselves more with looks and, you know, the right silk and flowers, and they look gorgeous and they're amazing and it's beautiful. And, and if we had a wedding and my wife needed that hat, you know, for the wedding, cost whatever thousand, we would buy it. You know, you need it, it looks great. But the quality, they don't concern themselves with quality as much. Um, it's more of a looks thing, where the men's hat industry, you know, they all kind of look the same, these fedoras. So, you know, people scrutinize the quality a little bit more, and they wear them in the rain, and they wear them to death until they get dirty and sweaty for years and decades. Where ladies' hats, you don't see that so much. Not as much. And when ladies bring in hats that they've been wearing for years and years and years and years, they're usually men's fedoras. Um, I steam them all the time for ladies. Like older ladies have been into this forever. They, you know, younger girls are getting hip to it now, but I'm not gonna say older, but you know, ladies in their like 60s and 70s, or they may have been wearing hats for 20, 30 years, men's hats. And um, you know, it's nothing new. It's just hitting the mainstream now for ladies. You're seeing them, men's hats in all the fashion magazines, no more ladies' hats. Um, sizes. Sometimes you just gotta play a certain riff, you know, it's like you gotta get it out. Actually, that's wrong, I heard this. Anyway, you're supposed to double the, that note. It's not. It's it's harder than that. Yeah, it's like a double note. It's one of the hardest things to play, or sometimes the easiest things. And the, the things that are hard are easy, you know. Zeppelin, uh, sometimes those easy things are hard. I think it's like a double note. Gotta listen to it. It's definitely got more distortion on it, too. me play that's the, just the way it goes in this channel Kevin from JJ. should I 
hit it? Yes or no? Heaven for JJ at Santa. 